Me and Ryan went out with the Tascam today, introducing uh, the lovely members of Stockton Public, Market Town, Market Day. Very diverse views, I think, but some heated opinions, which I think you'd like to listen to. All about the uh, oncoming uh, tomorrow referendum vote. Do we stay or do we go? That is the question. And a lot of undecided as well, by the way, so... By tomorrow, we'll live, decided, leave or remain. And, 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 and in between times, we'll just get a nice little taste of what the real people of Stockton think about it. Yes, we're with uh, Sue and Howard here in the watering hole of the Tommy Sheridan. It's a beautiful building, by the way. I'm just going to ask Sue and Howard a few questions on the EU referendum, whether they remain or leave and the pros and cons to it. Um, Howard, um, what are you going to vote tomorrow if you don't mind me asking? Well, I don't know at the moment, but I'm thinking out at the moment. Out? For any particular reason? Well, it's, it's mainly it's immigration and the, the Brussels rule and isn't such right, you know. Right, right. Are you not happy with the 350 million we're paying a week or is it...? Well, a lot of it's, uh, like I say, the rules, you know, you, I was reading the paper coming away there last week. Well, the, the couple of day there in Scotland, they've got their own business right. running it, such like, and now they're going to kick off the company. And yet there's a, another guy who committed so many offences or something, right. and he's getting legal aid. Right. You know, so Is this a gentleman who's not from this country? or? Yeah, well, he's in the country. The right, world. right. Yeah. What's his nationality? Is he out the EU or? or? I couldn't, I can't remember right. what now, but... He's got oh, he, was in he was an illegal he was an I, I think so. Right, right. in Scotland, they've, they've been over here for 30 years, I think it was. And they right. They've got their own business, paying yeah. all taxes and insurance. Yeah. And now they say they've got to go back or say, say about the um, visa. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, and no, they're paying in, obviously paying a lot into the economy, oh, yeah. aren't they? So yeah. Right. It, it's it's totally. Can I just ask your opinion on it, too? I'm the same. Are you the yeah. same out? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. Any different reasons? Same the same. Immigration, yeah. Threatened. It's putting strain on on our NHS, or. Well, I think the same. Look after your kids, and we've got grandkids. Right. And we've always said to our son that by the time he, he gets to retirement age, there's going to be no pension. So he's, he's always saved up for a pension. Right. And I reckon with all this immigration that by the time Hello? we have grandkids, by the time they get to pension age, there'll be no pension. Oh, not today, yeah, 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 definitely. And the. Uh, they're making well, the pension, well, it'll well, be till you're 70 now apparently, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, so by the time I retire, I'll have to wait for a state pension till I'm 70, so the proof's in the pudding, isn't it, that there's yeah. not no money out there at this particular mm -hmm. moment, so... And do you think it's scaremongering from the Chancellor when he says there's going to be like this big yeah. black hole, 30 billion? Yeah. Well, I think uh, so, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, to be honest with you, I think I'm going to vote out. I'm, 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 but there's... There's for and against, but I think we'll never know, will we, no. if we don't... Well, I can give you a kiss. About four, five, six years ago, I came out of work, and I went to claim door. Right. And they said I couldn't claim that. And I said, why? I said, I've been wet since I was 14 years old. Yeah. Stamps it. And they turned out and said, well, your stamps only go back two years. And I'd done six months self-employed. Right. So I wasn't paying the full stamp. So oh, what's, that's what's, ridiculous, what's the it? point of paying stamp from 14 year olds to yeah. paying 60 year olds? Yeah. And then it turns out, because so I can't get a part-time wage. Oh, until I got, until I got a so you got no money for six no, months? No. I, I didn't get anything until right. I got a right. job. Eight, eight months. months? It was getting eight, eight months month and then I got a job. Right. But the, 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 that eight months, yeah. and, we were and to be honest with you, when, when I was in the door place, playing with door, there was a guy sat next to me. Yeah. And he'd only just come up to prison. And he turned out and said, I need help. I need this, that, and the other. There's a guy behind the door turned up. Calm down, this is so and so. Right. We'll sort it out for you. Yeah. You'll get money. You know, we'll sort, yeah. we'll sort you out. And yeah. I sat there thinking, oh. Yeah. Well, I can't imagine what the prison court did. No. Like you say, no. the welfare state for people like yourself who've put in at all them years and maybe need that little bit of safety net when they're out of work, you mm. know. And obviously you haven't been out that work that long over your life, have you know? No. But there's people who just cream the system, isn't it? And it's totally unfair on the likes of yourself. So you're both voting out tomorrow then. Alright. So. Alright, that's soon I would thanks for your time. No, no, no. Cheers. No, no. Bye now. Yes, we're just with uh, two gentlemen in the Royal Oak here. 
I'd just like to ask this gentleman here, what are you going to vote? What if you don't mind me asking not a personal question? Out. Out. For any particular reason? Immigration. Immigration. Why is that then? Because there's too many in the town now. Just in particularly in town, in Stockton Town yeah. Centre? Do you think that's putting a strain on the economy and the jobs or...? Well, I think Cameron's made a big part of everything. Right. Right. Like, like what? Content, with, it, with everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was promising this, he promised that he hadn't done... Even, what type his, own, even his own party had turned against Yeah, what him. type of things has he promised to the likes of yourself or well, anyone that he has not it's not me direct. Right, right. But it's, uh, it affects the housing and right. everything. Well, they say there's not a lot of social housing at the moment, don't they? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, and there's people still sleeping on the streets. Right. And people that are working can't get, even if they go on the sick, they can't get money to pay the, the rent. Right, right. And all sorts. Yeah. Would you be voting Remain or Leave tomorrow? Out. Out, definitely out. Definitely For any out. particular reason. So I'm pay the immigration. Right. The housing, the, the things he's done, the bedroom tax. It's not, he's, he's not hitting the rich, he's hit the poor. Yeah, yeah. You know all this about we're going to charge the, the rich this extra money tax. There's room for the people like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but look at these buildings here. Right. Learn about shortage of housing. All these could be made into flats. So the council own all these properties, just about. Do they? Yeah. And they, yeah. they could be made into flats. Somewhere, right. But not enough. So you're saying there's a lot of empty properties about and they're just not getting and used? It could be used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could yeah, be used. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It could be used for people who want to look at or just empty shelves. Right. Yeah. Um, so do you think the bedroom tax was a bad, obviously a bad thing, well, isn't obviously, it? Obviously, yeah. yeah. It didn't affect me, but yeah. it, it affected a lot of my friends, you know what I mean? And they can't afford it. Yeah. What, what's, what Mr Cameron was saying at the time, wasn't he, is that he wants people who were who are living on their own to be in like one bedroom po properties to free up for people, you yeah. know, with families and things. But it, like you said, there's not enough housing, is there? Fair play, that's yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. what you say. Well, yeah. let's have some more housing then with yeah. one bedroom uh, yeah. properties. They should, so you're saying they should build more one bedroom? Yeah. Well, I live on my own, but I'm lucky I'm not living there. It's not good housing, like, but right. I've got my own, my own place. Yeah. But one bedroom. And yeah. if I had two bedrooms, they'd be. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? And it seems to be hitting the unemployed, isn't it, more than anything, you know, this bedroom tax. And that, um, you have to pay, if you're out of work, you have to pay a small percentage of council tax, don't you, or something? Well, I don't. Yeah, I'm yeah. Lucky. Right, I'm, right. I'm a pensioner. Oh, so it doesn't, it excludes it doesn't pensioners, right? It being in sheltered Yeah, yeah, I mean, right. Because they're that pay, that pay £17. Yeah, he pays £17. A month, right, right. Mm. And, that, and that comes out of my allowance, what you're supposed to be, and you want to live off. Yeah, yeah. And it's just... The money's not going up to anybody else. It's like inflation, yeah. You get the poor over it. Yeah, yeah. So what, what you're trying to say is that the rich are getting richer and the poorer are getting yeah. poorer. Do you think there's uh, many jobs in this area or is it more, it's just that there's a lot of menial work or do you think there's no, there's not a lot of jobs well, at all? Not, there's not no, even no, no. Because, well, there's not even What's happened to the steel industry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just ruined the I'm, I'm a husband. It ruined the coal industry. Right. They've ruined the steel industry. They've yeah. nothing left. But the government said it had cost something like a million pounds a week a bailout to steel, wasn't it? Like about fifty million pound a year or something. Or, or mm -hmm. some I can't remember the figures but that that was their argument. I don't know whether you agree or disagree. Yeah, well, they shouldn't have done what they did in the first place. They shouldn't right. have the chairman because they left with us too. Yeah, yeah. They shouldn't give our MOD contracts out of foreign countries. Yeah, yeah. Our, you know. Well, I heard that, um, that our ships are getting built in Sweden or somewhere yeah, like that because that's the cheapest steel. Oh, we've got the best ship building hands in the world. Oh, the yeah, what's that? Here in Ireland. And the, the Darwin Long as well, wasn't it? The bridge. Darwin Long. Yeah, yeah. Build all, all our steams all over the world. Should we have a bridge? Yeah, yeah. From Middlesbrough. Mm. Why do you think British steel so dear then? Is it? Well, because the Chinese, where they're selling them all this crap, can do it a lot mm. cheaper. Right. Then the yeah. They brought all the all the scrap, the whole lot 
over them there. Right. And they've got their own food business going. And all you have to do when people who own the scrap yards have to do sell it to them because they'll get a bit, a bit better price. Right. Because the other, the other steel companies and that, yeah. they, they can't compete. Yeah. And it's obviously taking jobs away from British people, isn't it? When yeah. You're doing things oh, like that. Oh, yeah. But what they say, the government's just a money making thing, isn't it? Where they're no, just trying to save money. It's much. not a government. The government's never got where they are. Well, the government's always been corrupt. Yeah, yeah. It's no longer we swung children. We used to give them people's food over for shoplifting and that. Right. And I was in the Gazette today, actually. That is, yeah, so. The, the government, but, oh, which government can you trust? Mm. Every time they get in, we're going to give you this, that. Like Peter just said there, he promises everything, he's never carried one. All they did was give us more cost, more grief. Right. People are going hungry because of it. Yeah. And why do you think that they voted Conservative last year then? Is it just obviously a lot? Well, a lot of this area is Labour, isn't it? I think they've only got two seats in the North East that are uh, Conservative. Why do you think that the country went with Conservative again. Because the embarrassment of, uh, of Labour. I'm a Labour man. Yeah, yeah. All my well, life. 99% of the people around you know, that, that I yeah. Am yeah. But they don't, you know, they just about what they went about, went about things with embarrassment. I mean, look at the leader we've got now. I mean, how hey. Who, Jeremy Carvin? Yeah, how hey. Do, do, do you think he cuts the mustard he then? He not cut the mustard, no. And I wouldn't have voted for him. Right. No. See, so the kind of playing at the conservative hands and I'm the by having poor leadership, aren't they? Well, it's going to be. It can't do, well, most things I've predicted have come bloody true. Well, anyway, but I'll tell you something now. There's going to be a. Well, I won't see it. But if you don't stop this migration now, I, I, by the way, I'm not. Uh, I'm not prejudiced. Really. Oh, no, I can understand. We're going to take yeah. now with you. Yeah, yeah, will, yeah. You know what I mean? There will be a revolution in this country. Yeah. Yes, that is gar- I can guarantee so do you, that. So, do you think that's the way it's going? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to end up like Russia did. Right. Is that right? right. Well, 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 okay, so, like a anarchy, kind yeah. of police state, do you think we're going towards? Yeah. Well, the police. We need the police, otherwise yeah, there yeah. would be anarchy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We need law. But uh, the government, every government, is being big corrupt. brothers watching you everywhere you go. Yeah, no. yeah. And Cameron and all them didn't get the millions of pounds, you know, all these millions of pounds <laughs> working like we had to work. Right. Do you want to get more? So the, the families were in the yeah, slave yeah, trade. Yeah, well, it's in the slave trade. It's easy when you're born into it, isn't it? You know. Just a, the, to me, they're a bunch of gangsters anyway. The kind of say that Mr. Cameron's out touch with the country, isn't he? That that be a good, a, good. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Because obviously he doesn't. That's a good way of putting it, actually. Out of touch. He doesn't know, like uh, we're all working class in this environment. I mean, he doesn't know what the working classes need, and does he care? Really? You look at the. Well, I'll give you an example. One example now. Concert back in the day. It went from a big steel place. That was one of the first. In Durham. In yeah, New yeah, Tommy yeah. Durham, yeah. You went to that. It was a ghost town. There wasn't a shop open. Well, hardly a shop open. Are they going to open it now, concert? But right. it's going to get ghost town. Yeah, yeah. Get. But they they pull through, like, and the mother pulling through. That's what they do with the town. Yeah. They? That's how they suffered at the town. Yeah, they got the lumpers, yeah, and they went and washing machines. They ah, the lumpers, they, 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 yeah. The millionaires, you know what I mean? But it, it doesn't last forever, one. though, it doesn't does last it? Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It doesn't last forever. No, they've ruined this, especially Teesside. Right. They've just gutted it. Yeah, well, it's a North East in all of yeah. Right. Some people might say by just playing devil's advocate here that um, to get rid of all the old industries to bring new ones in, they call that progression. Would you Where's the new industry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what is there left to build? Yeah. The car industry. That's, that's in the North East. You know what? What new industries is there? Mm. But they say this is the biggest car manufacturer in Europe, isn't it? And that's in Sunderland. That's Sunderland, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking about like Teesside area? Overall, overall, yeah. I'm on about overall. Yeah. Well, gents, that was... And the steel workers are good for the families. And what they were used to, the women, uh, the, the wives and the children, they were used to a certain standard of living. So once they got the 
hush, sorry, yeah. they want to be that kind of living now, are they? Right. They're going to come down. Yeah. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. I blame it all on the government. Yeah. Yeah. Well, gents, thanks for your time. That was very, very interesting. Right, I'm with um, Christine Eels, works for a local charity, Hope for Kids. Would you like to explain what your charity is about? It's for special needs children. Um, it's a registered charity and it's uh, for mini breaks and equipment, mainly schools for help. I'd just like to ask your opinion on um, the EU referendum tomorrow, voting. Would are you going to remain or leave or you're undecided? I'm undecided, but to be honest, I don't think it makes any difference to the common man, not for a few years anyway. Right, why, why do you think that is then? Because I think they're all for themselves. Right, what, the politicians, yeah? Politicians, yes, yeah, they're yeah. all out for themselves, and I think it's cut and dried anyway, I do want to see. Right, right. What, so you reckon it's already in the bag either yes. way, yeah, so... Why do you vote with a pencil? Oh, so they can rub it out? Yes. <laughs> oh, is that your theory, <laughs> yes, is it, right? right. Yeah, if yeah, I've never thought of it like that. Pen. Do you? Are you, are, you, are you allowed to take a pen into the I booth then? I don't know. I know. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, I've never thought of it like that. A lot of people have said that. Why do you? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So. I think they do everything to suit themselves and it'll be down to them at the end of the day whether we stay or leave, regardless of what the public do. Right, and you don't think it's going to affect the likes of me and you then, no? No. Right. Not in the foreseeable future, maybe some right. days to come. Because I've just heard today that, um, so they say, it's paper talk, and here you say that might affect three million jobs if we leave do you believe that or nah. no no so, if if you said to me now you've got to vote i would probably say out well there's a few more pens for you that's fine you thank right. you i'd yeah, probably yeah. say out only right. because of the legal immigrants right but i am I'm, I'm, I'm not prejudiced i think there's too many right. and even if we do come out can they stop it they're yeah. here now yeah yeah the other ways to say that um do you tie them all with the same brush? Because a lot of them come here to work and a lot of them, con- our contribute doctors to the and lawyers. A lot of them do work. Yeah, yeah. A lot of them do, but yeah. we should be like Australia. Don't come in, let's make a living. Christine, keep up the good work. I hope you much. get a heavy tin a day. <laughs> right. You stand there, that's <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Keep up the good work. Right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Much. You went out, mate, yeah? Yeah, Winston Churchill protest that from 1836 right. in Telenda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. England yeah. should never dictate by no other foreign country. We should be our own sovereign I, state, I, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, exactly. surprised, I'm surprised David Cameron they support that when he claims it is for the future. The younger generation don't know what the future of Britain is. No. The soldiers were dead for Waterloo and all them war and them fight for. It's in vain if they're going to make Euro. Because EU is German and German is EU. So everybody should have known that for now. Yeah. yeah. I'm an ethnic, I'm here, my wife, 19, 18 years now. Yeah. And I've been here, I've been But some people say if we did leave, then we can start our much more trading with the, no, common, no, the it, Commonwealth it, it, no, and people, that. People always debate immigrants. Yeah. But Britain always going to be immigrant because they come, taken from my point as a Commonwealth country. Yeah, of course. We come and build it from Second World War. Yeah. We have no dispute about the socialised or the society. No. Well, we've really. always had immigrants, haven't we? Yeah. yeah since day one, but, for but thousands thing, of years, but, we but, have. But the thing is, this is when people abuse the situation, like the Polish and who come. Send money to them kids. I'm not talking about sending money, but when they might take money for the benefit for them kids in the register yeah, there. Right. You, know you don't mean? like if that. If you work your money, I want to send it. Keep the money in the country, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? If you work and want to send the money to your family, but don't make the government register your picnic them, and then the government have to pay for your picnic, but they don't know nothing about it. Do you think most people will be voting then tomorrow? Early, yes. You will be yes. warning. Sadly, you know, I, I tear up the paper because got the Biden's straight away. Somebody got my mum. Because straight. the conspiracy, I don't even vote you're not voting no and yet you're very you've got yeah, yeah you've got yeah. very I, I, i'm very passionate you're about very it. passionate about it because, because i tell you something there are a lot of things where like people tell me like dictating look uh i think uh at one stage david cameron himself speak against the eu when tony blair went, put it out yeah so all comes in turn now since he's he taking conspiracy from company to sell the country and say the future what have happened to the monarchy what happened to the sovereignty yeah Every, Britain is a, a democratic country. Uh, every one of them who wants the EU. Yeah. You don't but, like being dictated to by other people like the Germans who have more no, control. I'm here. Yeah. I, I'm here. I don't come here to dictate to Britain. Yeah, exactly. I, you know what I mean? So uh, what I'm trying to say, I don't want... Like, as you say, nobody should dictate to nobody. No, no. You should rule your own Look somebody. after ourselves. So what the purpose What the purpose of giving over your rights to so, your enemies? They say your enemies then because... Well, they were 50 years ago, weren't they? Exactly. So how comes <laughs> with, So people feel... I think... It needs to be more educated 
people will give more information about what this um, is that and what it really meant. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of them just come out with all these things about business that are run down by Friday, this are closed, putting people in a punish of, oh, okay, a couple years ago there was a recession. Where was the big bank to save us? No, exactly. Now, if yeah. we left them, they said we are going to recession. It's just another class of politics, and these are the things where I'm kind of skeptical for it. You know yeah, you have to be positive, John. Yeah. Exactly, you have yeah. to be positive. Yeah. Well, I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get, uh, everybody of uh, art must know something to leave. What do you yeah. think the, the steel the steel yard and all them? Oh, that was terrible, yard, wasn't it? Them, yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. And and why couldn't Why couldn't we have like you know protected that more? In the angle of the was, If he was from Britain, why didn't he protect the steel yard? Exactly, all yeah. them people. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so all comes now, then they go left, and what to the people when they left? Yeah. Exactly. And then said business are going. Business are ready to go down before EU. There was no business going there, just a, 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 a exploiting, um, yeah. call it, extortion. Extortion. So forget yeah. people. Yeah. So the business themselves can't stay. So every country will always want to trade with Britain, no matter if we're in or out. Yeah. That's this for age. So I think we know who this gentleman uh, <laughs> supports. And what's your name, brother? Omer. O o Omer. Quince. Quince. Quincy, no? Quincy, I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All the best. What's your name, darling? Margaret. Margaret, thank you very much. <laughs> You've been my best interviewees of the day. It's funny, you know, a lot of people are scared. They just say, oh, I don't want to talk. I don't know why. Oh, no, it's, it's, not, it's not a gun, is it? It's a recorder. I think if you get about it certain way, some people really know it, but some people... It's surprising if it's the people in a government status, so they want to stay in the EU. Because they are debating, say, well, is EU give employees rights or health and safety? Britain always have health and safety. We always have that. The most protected place I've ever been. Brilliant. Then, and then the people in come in now with all them coming in is like the, the morals and the principles just start break and everybody give. This is why NHS gets weak. Yeah. This is why the housing get weak because the morals and the principles then stand by. You have to bend it for please other people. And there's no more infrastructure with it. Do you, do you think we should no. stay in or go out? Well, there's just like that, isn't it? Touch, yeah. Two reasons. Six think, and two threes. I think a lot of people probably won't know. That's a shame though, isn't it? I think, I don't think they will though. Maybe they're, they're a bit, do you think they've had enough information about it all? The ins and yeah, the outs? Yeah, but do they believe what information they've been given? That's a good point, isn't it? <laughs> right, thanks for that anyway. Right. And basically, it's just asking people whether, like I asked your nice grandma there, whether, uh, whether you're in or out, but well, that's not the important thing, whether you think people have had enough information on the decision that they're making and stuff. And whether you think it's important, you might not care about it. I'm in. You're in, like me, I'm in, Definitely, yeah. Definitely, I'm in. I've and why is in. that then? Well, um, for a lot of reasons, really. I'm a member of the Green Party. Cool. Um, and I've done a lot of research, and I think that if we... I, I think that there's a lot of positive being in Europe. And everything, not just for green-wise, not just for the environment, but for workers' rights and for... Uh, Quality in the workplace, and there's yeah. a, a myriad of reasons why I think we should be in. Right. I would, I would look further into going out if I thought we had a government I would trust, and I don't absolutely. Right, like someone you would Not feel capable of steering the ship on their exactly. own. Exactly, but I don't think we have a government. That's a, that's I a good trust point. Them as far as I could and what a shame, eh? That you wouldn't trust them to, like, you know, be the, in charge of our sovereignty. It's a shame, that isn't it? That yeah. says a lot about the politics of it, doesn't it? Well, you know what? That's been brilliant. You and your grandma have both been great. Just if you, I don't know if you think, if you think it's important that we stay in or out, whether it's you. I think it's important we stay in. It's right. Stronger when we in. Good, good, good. Right. I was expecting a lot more uh, get out voters, but it's quite, quite curious. Most people have wanted to stay in and have interviewed exactly. to you today. You're better off in. Better you off know, in, you in think? Yeah. Europe. Is it? that because if we go out, there's too many kind of unknowns to consider? Yeah. What, what would we yeah. do? Things like that. Yeah. One more question, mate. Do you think there's been enough uh, information to the public about, you know, the good... Yeah, I think there's been too much. The, the, the media get all of it and... Uh... And maybe twist it a little bit and turn exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, and sometimes I think we can't think for ourselves, mm. don't we? Mm. Well, listen now, uh, sir, that's been fantastic. That'll go live on air tomorrow. Radio Ignition. All right, you are. Thank you. Are, are you voting, if I may ask, sir? I am, yes. Do you think we've been given enough information, the public well, in general? Both sides have been lying. Lying, yeah. Both sides. But I think, you know, the treat is a bit like idiots, don't they? Oh, yeah, We're more yeah. intelligent than they think. Of course, yeah. I mean, I was listening to this one, and uh, when he used to be in charge of the Liberals, he said straight away, they're both telling a pack of lies. You get just too much false information off the how do you think? How do you think it'll go in the end? Do you think we'll remain in, or do you think we will get it, or do you think it'll be tight? It'll be tight. 
If we've got any from your common sense, we'll get out there. No swear words, please, sir, on the radio. <laughs> are you confident, sir, that your opinion will prevail and we will leave? Yes. You and are? I, and, I'll, and I'll tell you for why. You heard, you heard Mr Cameron yesterday. Think about our children and our grandchildren. This is what he told you. Yeah. On the steps of number 10 yesterday. What about the likes of these people who you see sat round here? Some of their kids who were only 17 and 16 year old died to keep a fucking asshole from taking over this country or you'd end up in the fucking gas chamber with the fucking Jews. True. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's considering them? Who's considering them? And yeah. did they have a life? Yeah. No, because they give their life at 16 and 17 year old, so these people here Tragic. Could, yeah. could enjoy what they're doing. And, and more and people should think about that, shouldn't they? Yeah. Very, 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 a very passionate, uh, a very passionate conversation.